Hi, I'm Jerome from Beta Naturals and Caulfield's Counter. Well, today I want to talk to you about five uses of argan oil. Now, before I get to that, I want to talk about argan oil itself because many of you have asked me, what exactly is argan oil? I've heard so much about it, how it benefits the skin and the hair, but I still don't get it. It's still a mystery to me. All right, well today, hopefully I'll be able to educate you. First of all, argan oil comes from the fruit of the argan tree or the argan plant, which is native to Morocco. It is produced by women's cooperatives, so it not only benefits us, the user, but the makers as well. Now, argan oil is great because it's high in vitamin E, as well as essential fatty acids. And not only that, the oil itself, it's very light, it's not greasy, and it adapts really well to the skin. Without further ado, let's talk about the amazing skincare product that is argan oil. Argan oil works extremely well as a standalone moisturizer, but if you're new to argan oil, I suggest easing into it. Since it is a new skincare product, you want to allow your skin to get used to its effects or using a more natural product. Now, what I used, or what I used to do uh, when I first started using argan oil was use it at night. And what I would do is essentially take the bottle, use the dropper, and use about one or two drops and work the oil between the fingertips and apply very lightly to areas that needed it most, particularly areas with lines or flakiness. So you can see I'm working it into the areas around the cheeks mouth and do not forget the eyes okay as well as the forehead a little goes a very long way just to let you know and the great thing about argan oil as I stated earlier is that it absorbs very well into the skin it's not greasy it's very light and when you're using this don't forget the neck area and to neglect this area, it's very important to minimize those lines. And once again, when you're using argan oil for the first few times, try it out at night before going to bed, and when you wake up in the morning, you will notice a vast improvement. Your skin will feel noticeably soft. If you suffer from very chapped lips and have used every lip balm imaginable yet have found no solution, well there's still hope for you because argan oil acts as a fantastic moisturizer for the lips. All you need to do is apply one drop of argan oil on the fingertips, rub between the fingers, and simply apply onto the lips. And what you'll feel is a noticeable difference. The flakes will gradually fade away, disappear. And when used regularly, your lips will essentially come back to life. You'll feel a lot better. They won't hurt because your skin won't break around the lips and it'll make kissing more enjoyable. And the other good thing about using argan oil as a lip moisturizer is that unlike many lip balms that are out there, it's not made with petroleum. So your skin adapts, or the argan oil adapts very easily into the skin. As a teenager, I was always struggling with acne. Fortunately nowadays, there are much better options than what we had back then growing up. Now one such great option is argan oil. Now, if you have a blemish, or you've, let's say, popped a blemish, I suggest using argan oil to not only help heal the wound, but also to help minimize the scarring. And all you need to do is, again, take just one drop of argan oil, work it between the fingers, and apply to the affected area. Let's say I have a blemish right here that I want to help heal. I'll just lightly rub it around that area 
and healing time should decrease and scarring should be minimized. I know a lot of you suffer from oily skin and so many products claim to control oily skin but nothing seems to really help in that department. Well, I've got a great solution for you and it's more of a fight fire with fire approach because in the past we've tried to control our oily skin by drying it out, which is totally wrong because when you dry out your skin, you're encouraging your body to produce more oil or more sebum and thereby causing more unwanted breakouts. So what I do is just continue to moisturize with a light natural oil such as argan oil and you do it regularly. If you're new to it, use it at night. And over time, you will notice that your skin does not overcompensate by producing too much oil and your face will be less shiny. Another great way to use argan oil on the skin is not only on the face, but on the hands as well. If you're like me and wash your hands constantly, you probably suffer from either dry cuticles or painful hangnails. I hate those and I use argan oil constantly to help combat those negative effects. Let me show you how to use it. Applying argan oil to cuticles and hangnails is very easy. I mean, ridiculously easy. So what I normally do for dry cuticles or hangnails is I will place a drop or two on to my fingertips and I will go over each finger individually and just rub it into the areas that need it most. Cuticles here, hangnails to the side. And do that same process, repeat it with the other fingers until you are satisfied with the level of moisturizing. Don't forget the thumbs. The thumbs are very susceptible to dryness, cuticle damage, as well as hangnails. And do the same process, repeat the process for the other hand as well. And it's that easy. So if you regularly treat your hands, your fingertips, your cuticles and hangnails with argan oil, your hands will be so much happier. Well, there you have it, five ways to use argan oil. I hope you found this video to be both informative and entertaining. For more tips on skincare, please visit betanaturals.com and callfieldscounter.com. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time.